Hi, this is Robert with Clean Pool and Spa. In this video, I want to answer the question of should I use a copper algicide or can I use a copper algicide? Uh, the short answer is yes, you can. Uh, I don't recommend copper algicides. I don't really recommend algicides in general. Uh, if you keep your readings correctly and test your water and make the right adjustments when they're supposed to be done, there's really no need for an algicide. I'm not a big fan of copper algicides simply because you're adding something else to the pool um, and you're also adding metal to the pool and if you use it on a continuous basis, also if you overdose it, uh, you can incur metal staining and this just kind of perplexes people because I had an account in Arizona, a um, gentleman had a fiberglass pool. Um, he, he just calls me up and says, hey, I have a problem, come over here. I went over there at fiberglass pool. He says, I, I was on well water and I didn't, or I, I, he was on city water and he didn't understand why he had metal staining in his fiberglass pool. And I did a test and I said, well, are you using a copper algicide? He said, yes. And I said, that's your problem. If you're gonna use an algicide, it's best to use a Polyquat 60 algicide. This is safe for all kinds of pools, contains no metal, um, and it, it is a bit more expensive than the other algicides, but if you're going to use an algicide, it's well worth it. So again, I'm not a big fan of algicides in general, and I'm certainly not a big fan of copper algicides, especially if you have well water, all you're doing is just adding more metal to the water and that's something that you don't need. Uh, so basically keep your readings where they're supposed to be and that will keep your water crystal clear. So I hope that cleared it, clears it up for you. Please check out the description below. It has a link to my website, cleanpoolandspa.com. Lots of great information over there. So be safe and happy swimming. Bye.